Hey everybody, I wanted to make a quick video on how to um, test uh, the integrity of the tubes in your tube amp. Uh, what I have here is a Fender 65 Deluxe Reverb reissue that was manufactured in 93. Uh, come around, I'll show you the front. It's a great amp. I use it a, a ton for uh, live gigs. Um, but as I was playing a gig, a solo guitar gig yesterday at a private event, uh, I played for a total of four hours. Um, and around hour three, I could hear the volume dropping and getting sucked kind of, um, to about half the volume I had dialed in. And there was a little distortion along with the volume drop and then the volume would come back and it would drop and it was it was a bit nuisance uh, it was kind of a nuisance uh i always bring a backup solid state amp with me um like a lunch box like a zt lunch box i also have a um a pv special 130 that's good if you need to play along and not have to worry about any tube issues or any type of you know tube amp uh problems happening but i do love this amp and i played it as much as i can so in order to test these amps, what you're gonna need is a pencil, a chopstick, or what I have here, which is a paintbrush with a wood handle. I use this paintbrush to clean up my bench, to clean up my MIDI keyboards and my desk. It's a great thing to have in a studio um, to uh, just dust the place. So in order to get started, let's um, make sure the amp is powered off. Let's take off these tube sleeves, okay? We just put them on top. All right, so now let's power on the amp. Make sure your volume is up. Okay, you can hear it's on. Okay, I have them up on both channels. All right. up pretty loud so I can hear when I test these tubes. Now look, I'm going to take a look at the tubes. They're glowing orange. That's what you want. You want a glowing orange in the rectifier and the power tubes. These have uh, JJ6V6s in them. And then over here in the preamp section, I've got the uh, groove tubes. Some fender tubes, some groove tubes. Now I wanna make sure that they're all glowing to a degree so I can see that these fenders, if you can see, they're all glowing slightly orange. And so are these groove tubes, yep, over here. And these are all the 12 AX7s that are glowing. But now, as you see, I passed over the 12 AT7. Is that glowing at all? Slightly. Okay. So what we're gonna do, so that one seems like it might be a problem. So what we do is that we're gonna take our pencil chopstick, whatever is wood, and we're gonna just kind of lightly clang the tubes and see if anything awkward happens. Microphonic sounds, uh, sounds coming out of the speaker. Let's try it. All right, that one looks good. That's just a thud, very dead sound. Let's try this one. And right, nothing microphonic, sounds like glass. Same thing with this one, those sound okay. Let's try the preamp tubes. All right, kind of thuddish, it's totally fine. Totally fine. I thought I might've heard something, but that sounds fine. And let's try this 12 AT7 that kind of stood out to me because I don't see a, much of a glow in there. Oh, do you hear that coming out of the speaker? 
That's the reverb tank. That, I have a feeling, is, is an issue. Okay. Ooh, there you go. Now we got that 12X7 coming out of the speaker. Oh, it sounds like a bad tube. And the final 12X7. So, these two tubes are gonna need to get replaced. You know, you gotta spend the money. The preamp tubes um, are a little more affordable, but yeah. The bad tube. Possibly bad tube. Definitely this one. Uh, okay. That's in the that's in the clean channel. That's not in the um, tremolo channel. All right. There you are. So I hope that helps you figure out how to test your tubes in your tube amp. And I hope you learned something today. I'm going to go and order some new tubes. All right. Have a good one, everyone.